Well, my name is Paul. I'm a patient here at UVA Lynchburg Dialysis. Um, been involved with the dialysis process for a, a good number of years. It was 2005 when I first um, had to go on dialysis. Uh, this peer up program, uh, I think, was uh, a, a good piece to add to a, a person's learning and a person uh, being able to, to cope with the with the dialysis process they went through you know a, a significant amount of work to to partner us up together and i, and I think that um that that worked really well uh for me uh, jovan is um he was the the mentee in this process and i was the mentor and that i was honored number one to to be able to to provide some information to him to to help him through um, whatever learning needs he had. But I learned a lot from him uh, in this process as well. Well, my name is Joe Vaughn, and um, I've been on dialysis now for four years. But the first few years, I was kind of having a pity party. I was a little depressed. I wasn't leaving the house. I had gotten cabin fever. I'd had no goals because not only with the dialysis being done three times a week, which I felt like was cutting into my leisure time, which makes no sense. I also had gastroparesis, so I was spending time in and out of the hospital. And as I would go to the hospital, the doctors would tell me, well, there's nothing much we can do. I guess you can just, when you get bad, come to the hospital. So I wasn't able to make any plans further than the next day. I couldn't plan what I was going to do next month or next week. Then about the past year and a half, I decided after figuring out what I thought was the cause of my gastroparesis that I still had a lot of life to live. And then I still was kind of in the house, wasn't doing a lot of things. And then earlier this year, I met up with someone who kind of pulled me out of that and showed me that there was a lot more going on besides just dialysis, which is what I felt like I was defining myself as a diabetic. I mean, as a diabetic and a dialysis patient, when that doesn't define me, that's just part of who I am. Then uh, after that, I was paired up with Paul in this peer up program, which also opened up a lot more stuff because before I would come here in the morning, I wouldn't talk to anybody. I would go and I would sit down, wait to be called to the back. I would go to the back and the only people I really knew here were the workers here. I didn't know any other patients because kind of selfishly, I wasn't interested in what any other patient had going on. It was just about me being in here. Then with the peer up program, I was linked with somebody who could provide me with at least some sort of foresight that I didn't have. I didn't have any vision of what the future on dialysis could be like besides my health getting worse and me being on dialysis more which is absolutely not what's going on with me now i feel probably better than i was for years before i was even needed to go on dialysis mentally physically the two are better i'm trying to look as good as i feel physically because i don't feel right now that i have any drawbacks or any setbacks. The little three days a week that I come here for dialysis, that's nothing. There's plenty of other things that I do more than three times a week, more than four hours each time that I do it, which aren't as beneficial as dialysis. Like Paul was telling me in the beginning when he was asking me questions, like, yeah, you know quite a bit. Yeah, I know the, the, the guidelines and the mechanics of it exactly, but I didn't know the experiences of I didn't know what I could expect coming out of the program. Like I said, I just mm -hmm. felt like, okay, I'm on dialysis and that's where I'm going to be. And this is how I'm going to be living. But that's just not it. You just figure a way to work that into your life and work around that. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. And I, I, I can <clears throat> see that the difference that um, going through this process made in, in Joe Barnes, when I, when I first saw him, and I thought, well, this this guy is is depressed or something. So he, like I said, he wasn't smiling, and he came in, and, you know, he stuck to himself. But after that, I, I could see see the light bulb going on, and see that the brightness in in his face and his whole demeanor changed, you know, through throughout this process. And I think 
uh, socialization is just one thing that a lot of dialysis patients might be missing, and a peer-to-peer -peer program is is going to provide you know that that key aspect in somebody's plan of care and in, important to to their recovery. As a, a a person that that's going through the same thing and empathize with you, but staff can only sympathize with you. So I think that makes a big difference.